It's yeah. Dominic Farinacci. That was awesome. Yeah. Nice to see you, man. Good to see you. Hey, welcome back to town. You, you've been out of town for a little while. Weren't you there for, for a bit? Yeah, we just had our official album release in New York City, Jazz and Lincoln Center. We did two nights, which was great, you know, because we've been working on this album for, what, a year and a half now. So it's finally out. How did this all come about? I mean, you, Tommy LaPuma's producing this thing. You got some killer musicians on it. How, how did this happen? Did he say, did he like take you under his wing and say, Dom, I'm going to, I'm going to change your life here, man. <laughs> you know, we've been talking about this project for about four years, you know, and we have, you know, in the creative process and also, you know, musically, also educationally, you know, we're both passionate about education. Obviously that's where we're at. We're at his center right here. So we thought instead of doing it in New York, like we always do, Let's see, maybe we can bring it all back to Cleveland, surround it with an educational program, yeah. and uh, involve a lot of great artists from the, you know, from the Cleveland community. And it's a very special project. It was a huge undertaking, hundreds and hundreds of people involved. Everyone here at tri was just so wonderful. And we're, we're excited it's finally out. It's called Short Stories, and it's on Mac Avenue Records. So you got a big release here tied in with the 37th Annual Jazz Fest for Tri-C. And so you got your own night, your own CD release event here. That's right. Yeah, the Hannah Theater, June 25th, 4.45 p.m. It's afternoon. I got my own afternoon. It's good. And a couple of days before, I'm going to be playing on um, uh, Tommy's birthday uh, party on the 23rd. Yeah. Diana Krall and uh, Clayton Hamilton Orchestra and all kinds of wonderful artists. He had this interesting way, I thought, of being out in the studio with you. He doesn't stay behind the board in the control room. He's out there working with the musicians, intonation, looking at your instrument. You had people like Christian McBride and Steve Gadd. I mean, talk about some of these people you were working with. Yeah, that's right. Tommy's, I mean, he's, he's one, of the, one of the musicians, you know. He's in there digging the music, you know. You could tell if he's into it, if he's not into it, and get, you know. And, uh, yeah, Christian McBride on bass, of course, played with in different contexts over the past couple of years. That was an awesome experience with him. Steve Gadd, one of the most legendary drummers in the history of our music. First time I got to meet him, you know, so we met each other, and then five minutes later we were recording. That was crazy. Larry Golding's on piano. Jamie Haddad on percussion, which we're so lucky to have him living here in the Cleveland area, who's been a mentor of mine since I was a kid. Um, Gil Goldstein on accordion. He did beautiful orchestral arrangements. We had some great players from here in Cleveland come together for the album as well. Mark Malden, great trombone player. And uh, Jacob Collier, who I know you got a chance to talk with. Uh, Jacob flew in from London. He's this young freak of nature kid who <laughs> yeah. creates all these amazing tracks in his, in his bedroom, literally in his room. We are so psyched to have you here in the Cleveland area. All the, now you're passing along to your students for meeting you here right after some classes that you're teaching here at Tri-C. Good luck with this CD, man. It's killer. I, we were in on some of the sessions. Have fun at the Jazz Fest. Good luck with your CD launch, and we'll catch up with you again soon, I hope. Yeah, great. Thanks so much for always being there, too, Thomas. Man, you do great work. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great one. Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.